Hey folks, welcome all come back to another uh, Genshin Impact video and uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, the Kagura's Verity again and um, in this one we're actually going to talk a bit more about like the, the weapon in general, right? Uh, for example, you know, is it, uh, can it be good on any other character? Because we obviously we know it's really really good on Yai Miko, right? Um, it's, well, it's her, uh, it's, it's the Yai Miko weapon, right? But, uh, you know. Uh, for a weapon category that's like slightly down bad, right? I I I I I'd say I'd say Catalyst slightly bad, down bad, right? Um, it's like what, what do you got? Like, you got like, Lost Prayer, Scarred Atlas, Memory Dust, and then like Everlasting Moon Girl for all like our five stars. Although we do have like some solid four stars though for um uh, four star uh, Catalyst, like uh you know we all we we'll always have um stuff like the the Wid Sith, right? Solar Peril's not bad too, but um you know. Uh, just is, is it uh, worth pulling for like any other characters right so it is a base you know 46 attack um weapon right uh with crit damage as a secondary stat so that's really really good uh because none of the uh five star weapons so far have a uh, crit damage as, as a sub stat right so um that's that's really nice again if you, if you do want uh you know uh extra crit damage in terms of, like four star weapons that have crit damage it's just like with Sith over here, right? That is, um, uh, uh, well, also and and uh, Black Cliff, but um, you know, their base attack is obviously a bit, bit lower, right? So um, they're both. I think they're both. Yeah, they're both forty two. Um, unfortunately, so um, but you know, they they it could still it could still get competitive, right? Um, when you're uh comparing how how much gems you want to spend on maybe like a Kagura Verity, which probably does yield you better results than maybe um, some instances, some of these other crit damage. Um, four star weapons versus, well, how many gems you have to spend on these, right? So anyways, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, I guess, on average. I mean, it's not like anyone's ever guaranteed to get a Witseth or, or or whatever, right? Well, I guess Blackcliff you could you could get, but anyways. Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about it. So the, the uh, special passive, uh, Kagura's Dance of the Sacred Sakura gives you the Kagura Dance effect when using an elemental skill, causing the elemental skill damage of that character, wielding this weapon to increase by 12% for 12 seconds. Max 3 stacks, this character will gain 12% uh, all elemental damage bonus when they possess 3 stacks. So this is just clearly built for Yaimiko, because uh, Yaimiko's E, you could there's 3 charges on her E, right? Boom, 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 you triple E, and then you have... Uh, all three stacks and you get the extra max three uh three stack um buff here as well right so you're getting what uh 36 percent damage on on at least your third elemental skill right uh also increases on your first two as well and then um and and then at the end you get an extra 12 percent on your elemental damage bonus which is straight up just very very good right so obviously very very good for Yaimiko, but is it any good if you're not going for Yaimiko? Is this a weapon you probably want to pursue if you're you know trying to use it on any other Catalyst characters, right? Um, if we look at Catalyst characters over here, right? There's uh, really not that many damage dealers, right? Uh, like Barbara, like again, yeah, anyone could be a main TPS these days, but you know in general, I'm saying you know stuff like Barbara. Um, you know, maybe not, right? Maybe not. If you want to, sure, fine. Although, like, even if you do want to, I'm not even sure if this is, like, the best weapon for Bar DPS Barbara. Uh, because, again, you do want a character that could have, um, you know, could triple E, right? Uh, use your E multiple times. And this is mainly buffing your E damage, right? Outside of, obviously, you know, the, the solid base attack stat and, and crit damage, um, right? Which is in of itself obviously very 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 uh, useful, but uh, you know for someone like Barbara, <laughs> what's 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 your E damage gonna do, man? <laughs> right? What even what even is the um uh or well, please, oh my god? I mean again, if you're if you're a Barbara DPS, <laughs> God bless, but like you know. <laughs> Anyways, um so yeah, uh, so just counting like Barbara maybe not right. Um, I guess the other options are, 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 you could maybe go for, right? Um, the number one best pick outside of Yai Miko for this weapon, I'd say is actually Lisa. Um, uh, so shout out to all the, uh, the Lisa's main out there. I honestly might pull for this weapon just to throw it on my Lisa, because <laughs> I really like Lisa. 
<laughs> but anyways, um, re reason being very very simple. Obviously, again, the tax hack crit damage is nice, but also the fact that she has she she you could triple you know, uh, you could use her E very very fast, right? Um, as almost as fast as you can with uh, Yai Miko. You could just double tap E, right, and then do like a hold E, then boom, you got all three stacks, and then you know you're rolling. Then you throw out your all, then you get the extra twelve percent. Um, elemental damage boost on your alt as well, on top of the you know the, the whole D damage. Like it, this is probably her. her. Uh, again, we don't exactly know yet because we have to wait for the weapon to come out to like be a hundred percent sure. Because again, they could always change things um, before release, right? And, uh, and and all that stuff. But you know, and and we'll we'll see the calculations. But if this is true. I'd say it's pretty good possibility that this could be Lisa's best in slot weapon. <laughs> So, uh, you know, shout out to the, the Lisa mains out there. Um, but yeah, uh, that aside, that aside, right? Um, anyone else? There's a few characters here that could get you a few shots, right? Um, off of, of, of your E, right? For example, Ningguang. Uh, Ningguang, you could do it, right? You could maybe, but like, she can only get you two. She can't get you... Uh, all three unless like you could really because like the CD on your Jade screen is 12 seconds like and 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 the stacks over here um, You know last for 12 seconds, right? So like maybe with um, what C2 Ningguo, right when uh, your um, Jade screen gets shattered you get another one in like you could get two of those in Right, I did probably be a bit hard to get uh, get all three right for the max stack and honestly like if you're not getting the max stats uh st stacks sta uh, stack <laughs> over here like this this passive really isn't like that worth it again you can still get kagura verity just for the fact that you have the crit damage and base attack high base attacks uh but then again like you still have other like options right uh you know get my you get instead you can just go for like you know, just still go for um, you know, Lost Prayer, right? Scarred Atlas, etc. Or, or even you know, just four star. You keep like a Wood Sith or Solar Pearl or something like that, right? So again, if if you really if you don't get that like max the third stack, I don't I'm not sure if it's really worth it, right? Because again, like like don't get me wrong, like my Ningguang could bust out of like a, a crazy. All right, Jade screen. All right, she she she's she her Jade screen's going crazy. But like again, like outside of that, it's just only really just buffing your um elemental skill by another twelve percent, which again it's nice to have, but that's generally not where your Ningguang damage is out you know coming out of. Again, Jade screens can do massive damage, but um, but yeah, generally that's that's not really where where most of your damage is coming from. Right, so like, yeah, you could potentially get two from uh, two stacks on Ningguang, but uh, maybe not, right? Um, Sucrose, I mean, Sucrose, I mean, sure, you could get the 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 uh, the um, the, the 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 charge is there, but like, with like your C one, you get like another charge, but like again, with the Sucrose, it's like you want to stack more um em on her right so like this doesn't really do too much for you right for for again support sucrose uh no not a slide to your all the dps sucrose is out there but like yeah just, most of the time right uh me kokumi kokumi just use your uh your uh, your donut like come on what are we doing just pull, pull your donut. it's so it's so good for kokumi um there's really no point. Uh, who else? Klee is a very, very interesting one. Klee's an interesting one. Because the thing about Klee is, right? Klee, you have that, um, the, the two charges on E. But, like, if you guys know the, um, the Crimson Witch set, right? There is a interesting little, I don't know if it's intended, probably unintended glitch. Hopefully you don't patch it. But, you know, where if you use Klee's, uh, E, right? Uh, and then, like, you cancel with your alt, like, it still counts towards the uh, Crimson Witch uh, stack, right? So, theoretically, you get three stacks out of Klee, right? And then, like, you double E afterwards. Which is interesting. Not, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to also apply 
to Kagura's Verity. So like if you do want to use run it on Klee, which again could potentially be pretty interesting there. Um because like an extra, you know, 12% um elemental damage on, on Klee is good luck. That's like crazy, right? Um on top of the uh, extra damage that, that you could um also get from your, you know, uh your your jumpty dumpties, which is nice, right? But uh again, I'd 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 wait for this the the uh, weapon to officially come out and have people test it out before you know you go crazy and and, and you know, get it on Klee. Because it, it might not work um in this case, but you know, we'll we'll see, I guess, right? Uh what else? Uh Mona. Um Mona Mona's I guess depending on your Mona build, uh, it could be nice. Not that you could get too much out of the E. Um, I mean, you, it's fine, but like, you know. Uh, you're not really getting too much out of the passive, but just, again, if you're running like a nuke Mona, right? If you're running a nuke Mo Mona, the, um, the, 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 the straight up, um, uh, the straight up just crit damage and base tech would definitely be nice, right? Although, again, is it that much worth it if you have like a higher refinement with Sith versus like a R1 um uh Kagura's Verity, I guess. It, it really depends on the you know calx one once we like 100 percent get this out, but uh you know. Could be an interesting option, I guess, right? Could could definitely be an interesting option for uh for Mona. Um what else do we have? Who do we not go over? Uh Yenfei. Um Yenfei's Enfei is like due to the uh, CD of her um, E, you could possibly get up to two stacks. It's only nine seconds, right? Uh, but then again, like it doesn't really, it doesn't really do too much for you because, like, generally you're not really relying on the uh, the initial damage from the um, from the E to be doing. Not that I'm not saying it's, you can. It could do some damage, but like again, it's not like the the biggest uh, part of her damage. That was obviously it's just mainly her, you know, cons rather consistent uh, normal and charge attacks over here, right? So, I, 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 guess, I guess you could do it on, on her, right? Just because, again, just crit damage, attack percent, not attack percent, but, uh, you know, attack crit damage. It's, it's good stuff, I guess. But again, you still have to compare it to uh, some of the other weapons, right? Like, which ones are a bit more uh, worth it? I'd say um, this the weapon overall, uh, just in terms of its main and substats, it's you know main substats are are fine, right? Um, and 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 nice, but like it's just that uh, it's not as general of a weapon as something like you know uh, Lost Prayer, right? That that could get you um uh the extra elemental damage bonuses, right? Uh, they could stack over there. Um, even Scoured Atlas, I guess, which, which, which is also, you know, gives you some other stuff. Uh, 12% all month damage bonus, all, all that, right? Um, even Memory to Dust to, to an extent, but then again, you have different, uh, substats, right? Uh, being obviously in this case, uh, crit, crit, uh, crit damage, so. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a f fine weapon, but there really aren't, like, the thing is, there just really isn't that many... Uh, units in the game that could like fully utilize its passes, but again, like just for the fact you know, crit damage, five star you know, weapon passive, it's that's in of itself is nice. Um, but again, like, is it really worth going for like the entire um <laughs> book on, on, on the banner? Uh, just for again, uh, it's fantastic, it's fantastic for Yaimiko, but uh, it could potentially be nice for Klee. It's very very good for Lisa right again the Klee thing we'd still have to see if it works uh in game or not uh so like this banner like actually worth something we'll have to see uh the other weapon that it gets paired um up in in the banner because uh somebody on weapon banners is is a trip <laughs> right <laughs> to actually get to get the, the guaranteed so uh we'll we'll see we'll we'll talk about it more once the uh, uh banner actually gets officially announced right so anyways uh that's really this one i guess hope you all enjoyed guys think in the comments down below uh like show this video for channel for some more get your impact videos i'll see you guys in the next one